Yo, what's up fam and welcome to the channel. And if this is your first time on the channel, this channel is where you're gonna find tips and tricks on how to improve your workflow when you're working on the iPad, whether that's music, video production, and a couple other things. Who knows what we might get into. So today's video, we're gonna be talking about video editing on the iPad using the Sensor Morph and the video editing overlay. And here it is. So let's get into it. Let me show you how it works inside of Luma Fusion. And for those of you who don't know what Luma Fusion is, it is a video editing app, actually the best video editing app that I have found for um, the iPad or iOS period. Um, it is available for your iPad and on the uh, iPhone as well. And this is what I've been doing all of my video editing in. And LumaFusion is by far the best video editing app that I have experienced so far. And it, for all my video editing needs, it gets the job done. So without further ado, you guys want to know if this works with this program. And the short answer is yes. And because you can do so much with the Sensor Morph, it is very easy to map all of your hotkeys and shortcuts onto the Sensor Morph so that they will work inside of um, Luma Fusion. I spent maybe three hours going through all of the hotkeys on Luma Fusion and all the shortcuts that I felt like I used a lot, used more than others, I, I implemented them into the Sensor Morph video editing overlay on the Sensor app. Um, you can edit every one of these buttons to do something that you use on Luma Fusion all the time. One of the first things that I really, really like about the Sensor Morph is that as soon as you turn it on, since it's, since it's paired to the iPad itself, as soon as it turns on, this Bluetooth button turns on and um, it, and it automatically connects to the iPad via Bluetooth. So I don't know if you can see that this ring here uh, kind of scrolls through each frame and the Sensor Morph actually does like this audible clicking sound to let you know that you're going, um, you're ticking through each frame. So I didn't, I didn't have to do any uh, external changes or anything to map, map that. That was automatic. That actually, um, that actually worked right offhand uh, with with Sensor Morph. What I did have to map is all of these buttons here. So another thing some of you might not have known is. All the hotkeys and shortcuts, we need the hotkeys and shortcuts to speed up our workflow. And if you didn't know that, if you have an external keyboard for your iPad or you know your iPad Pro, whatever application that you're in, if you press and hold the command button, it will bring up all of the list of the uh, shortcuts and hotkeys that are available within that app. So even if we step outside of the application, even on the home screen, if you hold down command, those uh, shortcuts and uh, hotkeys actually show up here. So all I did with, with Luma Fusion was I uh, held down the command. Since I don't have an external keyboard or anything, or I don't do a lot of typing, I don't use external keyboards for my iPad. And it would really take me a whole lot of time to kind of build a workflow trying to remember uh, shortcuts and hotkeys. I'd rather spend that time creating and ed editing video and getting that technique down. I don't really want to spend the time to learn all the hotkeys and stuff like that. So if I can press one button for three different keys and, you know, four different functions for one key, that will speed up my workflow tremendously. So again, when you press down command, you'll see all of the hotkeys inside of your application. In this case, we are in Luma Fusion. So all I did was inside the Sensor app, I mapped and I showed you guys in that other video of what how I set it up in Beatmaker 3. It's the same process. Inside the Sensor app, I mapped all of these keys into all of these functions. So let me know in the comments if you guys want me to drop my map to LumaFusion, um, my template for, for LumaFusion in the uh, in the description. I, I'd say that it's really up to you um, what you're comfortable with, um, how you feel comfortable editing. It's really your workflow and the things that you use daily or things that you use the most I will have uh, right off hand. So even with these buttons here, I have it to where it'll speed through that that timeline 
and I have the razor button here mapped. It'll tell you the action here and it'll also tell you what that action, you know, what keys um, does that action. And all I did within the Senso app to split a frame or split a clip, all I did was uh, mapped Command B into this one button. So I'm not pressing Command and, and then, you know, the letter B somewhere. It's actually both keys inside of this button. So I split that clip. Now it's two clips and I can even add a transition. And I mapped um, adding transitions to this button here actually. So I don't know if you can see that, but that's actually, it actually added a transition in between my clip, um, my two clips that I split. And then from there, I can pull up the attributes of that uh, transition. So what I'll do is I'll hit select and then it highlighted whatever I have selected, wherever the playhead is, that's what it'll select. And then it'll highlight that. And then I can press um, this button here or this button here and it'll bring up my attributes of whatever element that I have selected at the time. The only thing I wish is that um, the navigate buttons and the tab buttons will work. It would be really cool if I could navigate. I think it would, I think it would be really cool if I could navigate through the uh, effects and stuff like that and tab through effects and then just click it from here too. So that way I wouldn't have to reach up and touch uh, too many things on the iPad. So for somebody who's trying to keep their iPad pretty clean and you know not touch on the screen as much, um, you do have the Apple Pencil, which sometimes I still do use um, to select things when I'm trying to keep the iPad clear um, and I don't really want to touch it. So I can add that transition and then tap out, which is another thing that I wish I could do from here so that I don't have to again reach up and touch the iPad so hopefully in the next update um, they'll give us some more shortcuts and um, some more hotkeys or e at least make our um, hotkeys and shortcuts editable in uh, version 2 of the update for Luma Fusion so I can scroll back and I can hit play so you can see that um, that transition just played and then I can Clip it again and I can go back, select that clip and I can even hit delete. So now that clip is deleted. Even from here, um, you have the ability to uh, add voiceovers and I have that actually mapped to this button right here. So then that brought up the voiceover uh, memo screen. So right now I can tap voiceover and it counts down. Now I'm at you know, recording the voiceover for my video. So you can see that that audio recorded at the bottom of, of my um, of my clip. And then if I wanna get rid of it, it is uh, highlighted, it's selected. So I just press delete. You can also pull up your um, video editing window to where it'll go through different windows to show you your different properties of, of your video. And right now I actually have those mapped to these shortcut buttons and I can toggle through each, uh, each action. I can toggle through full screen, frame. I can toggle through the speed and reverse tab. I can toggle to the color and effects tab or I can hit this audio button and then I can edit my audio levels and adjust them from here. So you can see that there's a button up here that goes back to the timeline and I just mapped that to Luma, Luma Fusion's version of uh, whatever hotkey that was to take us back to the original timeline. So I press that. So you can see real quick how easy and how fluent that can become to speed up your editing workflow for Luma Fusion. If you just take the time out and map all of these um, shortcuts and hotkeys to, to your overlay um, according to where you feel comfortable um, editing them. So some of them I don't use the pre-printed uh, names functions for Luma Fusion, and that's simply because Luma Fusion does not have everything I would like just yet, hotkey or shortcut functions yet. So uh, things like 
turning up the volume from either they don't have it or I just haven't figured out how to do it yet. I would like to be able to navigate through the timeline more fluently using the navigate um, bar. Um, if anybody knows how to do that um, with the uh, with a mouse or um, anything like that, because that's really what this uh, overlay is emulating mouse and keyboard functions. So, and it's just really putting it all into one but one touch uh, controls. So if anybody knows how to do any of these shortcuts, like navigating through the timeline, um, right now I can actually zoom in and out pretty good. And then I can select the clip and even um, extract the audio from that clip and then delete it just like that. With functions like that, you can see how that can turn into a really quick workflow for professional editing on Luma Fusion without having to remember hotkeys on the keyboard or without having to bring an external keyboard to even get those functions or, or investing in a whole external keyboard. Right now, the I think the Apple keyboard is like $160. You have a controller that has every option available for you to manipulate and control to your specific muscle memory or your specific workflow. You can, to you can completely edit this the way you want to um, and um, make it work for your exact workflow for how you edit. So again, if you don't know what Luma Fusion is, it is the best video editing software out there for iOS. And I highly recommend that you check that out. The video editing overlay works perfectly with it. If you take the time to set it up the way you want to, again, I can drop a link to my maps and my shortcuts for the video editing overlay working with Luma Fusion. Um, let me know if that's something you guys are interested in. But yes, the Sensor Morph video editing overlay does work with Luma Fusion and it works very well and it has sped up my my process for um, editing video on the iPad like a professional. If this video was helpful to any of you guys in any type of way, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'll be doing a lot more content on the Sensor Morph and the video editing overlay, as well as getting back into some more music tutorials for Beatmaker 3 and some other stuff that I have planned throughout the year. So remember, if I can create like this, you can create like this. Thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for rocking with the channel, you guys. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Peace.